Video Game Deep Kisses Weekly Newsletter from Video Game Industry. Watcher Simon Carlos, DD, Gaga Sutra Code Runner. Rounding up the best long red stand out articles videos about games every weekend. This week's roundup includes the smash success of indie sequel Rediscovering Tour, a fascinating new Lego coding toy, and what's up with the new Super Meat Boy game, as well as looks at Anthem's troubled jet cycle, the great behind No Man's Sky, Journey to the Savage Planet, lots more. Back from London. Just in time to post this update, and in the meantime, the DMOT has posted 1503 videos of talks from Game Developers Conference 2019. Since a lot of this will be coming to you for, I will be putting them in VGDC roundups at that point. I will not link out anything individually, but there is a lot of goodness there. Enjoy. Until next time. Simon, curator, Journey to the Savage Planet is irreverent exploration in service of capitalism. Michael Futter variety article. You are an explorer, and the best job you could find is working for King Aerospace. Proudly, the fourth best interstellar exploration company in the galaxy. That's the setup for Typhoon Studios. Journey to the Savage Planet which co-founder and creative director Alex Hutchinson calls an earnest comedy. Simon, does note, interesting looking game from x and Switch, references Sonatica in part as inspiration we are starting to see that third versus AAA design crossover. Finally, roguelike, from another planet, the bite of armor, back in the G-R-O-V-E-I-N-T-E-V-I-E-W. John Harris Gama Sutra article. Greg Johnson, with the aid of Kickstarter, was able to successfully find Old Merle back in the Grove, which released last month. The new toy ad endlessly follows the original, and like the original, reactions have again been across the board, with some reviewers loving it and some hating it. Here in his own, lightly adapted, was Johnson tells us about the new game's design, about making a fun party style co-op experience, and why he thinks some people love the game, and some just do not. No Man's Sky, great, summary, did you talk video. A smart and unlikely team was behind one of the most ambitious and anticipated games of 2016. In this 2019 DD main stage session, Hello Games, Shamerly, takes us behind the scenes during the intense and dramatic launch of one of the biggest selling new IPS in recent years. Simon, does note, one of my favorite talks of GD, as part of our main stage presentation discussing, in large part, how you deal with the internet when it does not like you, are the main stage segments, that dreams leave concert. Shaban read this micro talk, and Larry in McWilliams, wonderful inspirational talk, are also up on YouTube. What extra near steps learned while leaving early access? Bryant, Francis got a sutra article. No team hesitates at going through early access. But when the developers of the Straneer set out to make their space sandbox game, they did not just wind up building a game, they had to build a whole company and procedural generation tech as well. After a few hard-fought years, the STRO any year read by NALY exited early access, and now the devs at System Area Softworks are able to look back and understand just what they went through. Lego looks to make coding click for middle schoolers. In the Fried Axios article, Lego's Education Unit is making its biggest product debut in three years, unveiling Spike Prime, a new kit that aims to mix the company's familiar bricks with mortars, sensors and introductory coding lessons. Simon, as note, my impressions live at the first company piece, how by OR Sanctum One John, has a Shire, Kataku article, it was not even supposed to be Kaladanthum, 
just days before the annual E3 convention, in June of 2017, when the storied studio BioWare would reveal its newest game. The plan had been to go with a different title, Beyond. The deal even printed out bent shirts for the stuff. Simon, does note, exemplary reporting here on a tricky development cycle. Snapchat's new Snap Games platform includes games from Zynga, Spy Fox, Alyssa McLuhan Gamma Sutra article, that new service is Snap Games, a platform that aims to offer up a library of titles that claim quick and frictionless social gameplay their first priority. Snap Games itself is baked right into Snapchat, meaning that the games that appear on the platform are dropped into the hands of one of the social apps existing users. Simon, as note, the dawn of a new platform, an uh, interesting one, had that. How MacCorrier 5, as team fixed their player killing level, generator, as technical YouTube video, in this special edition of War Stories, Russ Bullock, President, Piranha Games, Derek James, Designer, and Brian Windover, Lab Engineer, discuss the development of the upcoming Mac Warrior 5, Mercenaries. We also speak with Jordan Weissman, founder of Fuzz Corporation, and creator of the Battle Tech Universe, and get a little bit of a history of the Mac Warrior and Battle Tech franchises. The truth about hyper casual games, Oma Kaplan Venture Beat article. One of the biggest concerns around hyper casual games is whether or not this new genre has helped grow the market as a whole, bringing in players that are new to mobile gaming, or if has it simply cannibalized from other genres, and if it has brought new users to the market, are they ones? that can be converted to players of non-hyper-casual world games. Here's to a year of adventure on the Sea of Thieves, Matt Wales Eurogamer article. Happy birthday, Sea of Thieves my most played game of 2018, and, would you believe it, my most played game of 2019 so far, today. Rare's practical multiplayer sandbox adventure celebrates its First 12 months upon the waves, and having brought the likes of giant killer sharks, marauding skeleton ships, and even a fiery hell pit of a new region beyond the devils, Shroud is doing quite the year. Simon, does note, games can change, radically, when they are developed as a service. Unionization was center stage at the 2019 Game Developers Conference. On Tender Glass Waypoint article, it's been one year since then, and this year's Game Developers Conference had a markedly different tone. Last year's events were a raucous beginning, but it was during this year at DD where the focus was on the mechanics and specificities of growing and sustaining a healthier games labor industry. We're in 2018 there was a poetry showing of panels, talks, and roundtables dedicated specifically to labor issues. 2019, SDD included a sizable handful, risk of rain to desktop hitting 500, 000 players, more support, and what's coming next, was an NPC gamer article. I have been playing a lot of risk covering tour this week, so have a few other people, apparently in just 7 days. The indie roguelike has hit 500, 000 players in early access, which means at least 250, 000 copies sold. It had to buy one get one free deal, going for its first couple of days on sale. Developers had two games were. I think it's fair to say, surprised, Simon, does note, under relative rarity a 2D indie game, that has a successful 3D sequel, DF Retro Extra, Seeker's Blast Processing was real, but what did it actually do? Digital Foundry YouTube Video, join John Lehman, and the talented coder, Gabriel Models, discuss sequels, almost legendary, Blast Processing, 
what it actually was, how it worked and why it never actually appeared in any Genesis Meta Drive games. Nope, not even Sonic Tour, designing for deck building in video games. Diego Aguilar got not such an article. Card-based games and deck building elements have been in video games for years now, often mixing with known genres to create mood. Yet familiar experiences, from completely randomized systems to a deep focus on trial and error, developers have been toying with this subgenre in different ways. Team Meat on the Return of Super Meat Boy, Catherine Castle Rock Paper got an article when Tommy Raffinas first sat down to prototype and move auto running one button Super Meat Boy game in his GD hotel room. Back in 2011, it was meant to be a tiny spin off for mobiles that stopped after nine levels. The scope of it was going to be very small. The programmer of Team Meat told me at Praxis 2019 last weekend, empathy is not enough. Part 1, Lana Plansky Rhizome article, the discussion around the time, empathy games, hit the scene. However, was less about the nuances of violence and ideology in art, and a blank art condemnation, a defense of violence in games. Those with a stake in the production of games work quick to pick up on the utility of studies that showed their potential benefits to young minds if games were exceptional for their negative effects on players. All the better if they could be framed as exceptional for their positive effects. Steam Business Update BD 2019 Steamworks Development YouTube Video In this talk from BD 2019